Hello YouTube, this is Z-Dark e Omega here with a UU Battle V Jim Bond or Cat Boon from the Pokemon Wi-Fi app. So it's started I off I'm using my Hail team, which is my favourite UU team that I've made. First made it on Pio and Smogin and I just laddered in the Smogin server for a while and it was really good. So I laid off in the Needle King and he laid off in the Rotom Heat I expected to trick, so I went into my Specs Kai room. So either way I would still have choice a choice item which is the way I like to run Kyron because it's like the only viable way I think, personally. And then he goes I predict the switch into Empoleon and go for the focus blast but missed. Which comes in quite crucial later on in the game actually, I believe. So he goes into the Celebi on another another focus blast which misses like, this is again, but it didn't matter really because it wouldn't have done anything. So now I just go to switch into I've almost not expect the Energy Ball Psychic or Leech Seed. And I think he, yeah, he goes through the Leech Seed, which is obviously not very effective. But the Celebi is faster and gets off the Thunder Wave as I go for the Blizzard for the one hit KO. I was tempted to go for the Ice Shard, but I'm not sure if it would have KO'd. So I, I'm, I'm sure Celebi's got huge defense anyway, so. I, probably better off going for the blizzard depending on what it says of course which is the blizzard doesn't KO but the hail after it will KO so that's that's what I really like about using hail is if anything comes close to one hit KO which it usually does for me as you've seen in the other few videos that it will work in the end so he's obviously going to come in and overheat here but he goes for the volts no I can't remember here actually no, he goes for the Volt Switch and then comes, yeah, he goes for the Volt Switch, which my Hitmontop is sort of mixed in defence, so it does about half. Well, it does do half, but he goes then into his Ryaku, and Ryaku, oh, I can't even say it. Um, this was a really big threat for me in the game, I felt, so that was like my priority to get rid of. And I completely forgot about other Pokemon in his team, which was probably one of my biggest mistakes. So he goes for the Aurora Sphere. And since I never had the technician, a new match punch would do a great amount. So I just went for the close combat there, I believe. And now I am going to bring in Kyrim again because I think he's got some sort of choice item. And I'm thinking, or I'm hoping anyway, that I can outspeed with the choice scarf, which I do. But I don't believe Dragon Pulse uh, KOs, so yeah, it doesn't. So he can just, uh, tr he just about finishes me off with the Dragon Pulse which is good for me because I got his major special sweeper out the game and that's probably one of the biggest threats to my team since it's pretty big, oh no sorry I never got rid of it, he keeps it for later and he goes into this and I go for the, he goes for this uh, for the Dragon Pulse on the switch obviously because it's resistant and he's going to set up Brock's which is a bitch for me because if I switch as I switch out Kyrim here since he's stuck in the Dragon Pulse, that means when he comes in he's gonna come uh, comes back in he's gonna be extremely easy to revenge kill. So I just go to slow bro try and force him to switch out because he can't really do anything to me. So I then here go for the surf, predicting him to go out into something like Flygon or anything else in his team that I can hit with the third uh, third third surf. Which um doesn't go too well. I was going to, you know, sorry, I got that completely wrong. He knows what slow bro set I'm running here. So I went for the surf, predicting him to switch into a, a ground type or anything that could take a T wave, which is what the set has. So instead of running skull. So I end up getting roared back into Kyrim, and as you can see here, he just lives. And I go for the focus blast, which you can see now, I believe, almost kills which is a really big point in the game because if the Focus Blast the first one had hit then I probably could have killed it off with hail damage and that Surf may have helped and then, and then that Focus Blast would have definitely killed but he might not have even brought it, uh, brought it in if it was on minimum damage and uh, on low HP and just kept it for fodder so I thought he'd switch out here predicting the Earthquake and go into Rotom Heat since it had to levitate and I did open it I'm, Yes, I did sort of over predict here as I just go for the stealth rocks as he goes for another roar just to get damage off of my team. But the stealth rocks will help because it brings Raikou back in even lower damage. Sorry, he goes for the ice beam which was a bitch for me. So I believe now 
I, I either go for the earthquake or set up a Larry Toxic Spikes. I'm really, I've just got a mind blank right now anyway. <laughs> sorry, I'm a, my nose is a bit stuffed up, so I'm, I'm speaking sorry funny, but to me it seems a bit funny. Now I switch out into Kyrum there just for fodder because I don't want to take another ice beam. But he ends up switching and I'm like, ah, I've just, ah. Oh. It's a bitch for me, but at least I believe I get the switch advantage. Yeah, I do. He goes into his Flygon, which is another big threat for me. And I send in Slowbro here, just thinking, well, I can take the U-turn. And the fact that he doesn't go for U-turn tells me, well, it makes me think he's a sort of special set, or he, he either just doesn't play and carry the uh, U-turn, which I don't know why he wouldn't. So he goes in this, and I'm like, alright, I'm going to switch out, knowing that I can't KO it from this range. So I go into Needle King as he goes for the Roar, I believe, or he tries to do some, I don't know. No, sorry, I, no, what am I saying? I predicted his switch into that, so that's why I went into Needle King. So then I switch, uh, then I predicted his switch into Flygon or Rome Heat, which could take the Earthquake, but, so I went for the Toxic Spikes instead, but then he doesn't switch out, he stays in for fodder, because I thought he'd want to keep this, and he doesn't. Which is a bitch, because if I'd went for the earthquake there, I would have had Nido King to take to be able to wall out his Rotom Heat later on in the game, predicting any volt switches that he might want to go for, and st uh, making him worried about that. But anyway, I just go into the Mammal Swine for the revenge kill with the Stone Edge just to be safe in case he wants to switch again. And thankfully, that does kill, because if that never, I would have been very frustrated and just pissed off completely. So now he goes into his Rotom and I'm like, well, he might think I'm going to go straight into Slowbro, even though Slowbro's a defence wall, but no, he doesn't. No, just, I played, I, at the start I was playing quite well, until now. Now is just, at the end of the game I just fell apart completely and my predictions were just retarded. So I probably should have just switched out there into Slowbro, just to be safe, but obviously I never, and it cost, it, this cost me the game, this part here. Because right here I thought, well, he's, he's going to go for another overheat again because he's a choice, choice specs now, and that's going to do not that, it's not going to do that much since he got the drops, and I'm thinking a Surf will KO from there because of this uh, minus two in special defence now, which is great for me again because it's, it's just another thing I can get rid of. Sorry, I'm a bit thirsty. Um, so yeah. I really actually enjoy using this team, although th only three members of the team benefit from the hail. It's just, the hail allows me to set up the sweepers, and people will think that I'm going to use the hail right at the start of the game, where I, whether I prefer to use it at the end for late game. Now here, here's the key point in the game. If I'd switched out here and a bomb of snow there to take the T-Bolt, he would have died from the poison damage, and I would have been able to bring Slowbro back in on his buffalo and his... Last remaining Pokemon, which I believe was Flygon, and I would have been able to wall him out since I don't think he had the U-turn. Now that could have been crucial because then I would have a, I would have had a Bombasnow's Ice Shard for priority, which I actually go for here, and just to rub it in, even though I couldn't win, it just, the game just rubs it in by giving me the power hacks and lets him get the head smash, head charge off. Sorry, which is obviously going to one hit KO because I do believe this thing gets reckless. So that's a good game, Jim. Uh, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and his link will be in the description. Goodbye.